Welcome to Tiger Wolf. I'm Josh, and this is David. Please be aware, this podcast contains strong language and spoilers. Food! There are tater tots in the freezer. They're actually just fries, and I just put them in there. (laughs) (laughs) So, So, today we'll be talking about Venom, which we... As of recording this, just saw recently. Yeah. Not as recent as most of the times we do this. So, uh, visually, I like the way Venom looked. I like Yes, the- he was missing the spider. I can get past that. It's not even about getting past that. That was a good move on their part. He had no relation had to no spiders. Relation to Spider-Man, so it made sense not to have the spider. But even with the lack of that as a Venom fan... I looked at it and was like, okay. He was a little bit more solid and shiny than I would have liked, but it is how he's usually uh, shown. So like, I think it's accurate, but not necessarily the take I would have not liked to see. Not necessarily as visually pleasing for you. Uh, my, my, my issues with, um, Visually, Venom was that he looked skipped like leg day. Yeah, he skipped leg day. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It. Um, but honestly, like I like the 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 white veins in him. It gave it gave more character to him. Yeah. Without just being this slate black or slate not slate but slick black suit. Yeah. Now, what about Riot? I thought Riot was really cool. Like he was, he was pretty gnarly looking. He he had the right jagged edges just to his general look to to kind of give you a hint of what he does. Yeah, he's not. Um, he's not venom. <laughs> no, but for a moment he ate him. Yeah, yeah. For a moment they were they were one thing. And that's and that's what so I was find. Eddie. And that's and the other guy, uh, Drake. Yeah, I think that's his last name. I don't know. The bad guy. Yeah. The exclusively bad guy. The crazy, the crazy rich billionaire. I the 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 backstory that we're giving Venom on it, I found very interesting. As somebody who's never actually read the comic books of Venom himself, yeah, um, I found them interesting and kind of sad. I always pictured uh, Venom as being like powerful, even kind of for his race, and they basically played him as being the weakest of the bunch. <laughs> He's the kid that gets picked last at dodgeball. Right. How do you have a va- have how do you have the name Venom and you're the one that's picked last? Oh, I mean, in the comics originally, he was insane. He was considered insane by his race and they were unable to fix the broken parts of him, so they exiled him. Instead, they went with a more classic alien storyline here which is the kind of weakens it in a bit, but also kind of fits their nature as what they are in a manner yeah. of that they take over species literally and devour them. Yeah, I think I feel because of the recent events in the comics that they kind of took Oh yeah, they the probably poisons. took some ins- inspiration from they from took what was the going poisons on. and the Clintar, which is Venom's race's name, and just kind of wove them together. The poison So they're the five tars? Clint, not Quinn. Oh. It's Kale? Yeah. Okay. So there are liquid Klingons. I well I mean kinda. Klingon tar. <laughs> 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 but like the poison, they are they are quote unquote the perfect host <clears throat> for the Clintar. There's a catch there though. The Clintar has to already have a host for the poison to be the perfect host. That doesn't make any sense. The poisons strengthen. So hold on, hold on, hold on. So what you're saying is this is a um, symbiotic life form that symbiosis that ha- that commits symbiosis with a symbiotic life form as long as that symbiotic life form has already engaged in a symbiotic relationship. Yes. Okay. I'm sure that cleared things up for people. So. You're you. 
I am you me. Have Thank a you. symbiote. Ooh, which one? Which one would I have, David? Since you just probably breached that. Howler. Howler? Probably Howler. Really? I believe his name's Howler. What? Is he like He's dog-like? The blue. I saw that there's the blue one, but they didn't really show yeah, a suit thing for it. He's mostly blue. He's got, I think, green around his wrists. And typically, he does a lot of what Carnage does with like the sharp blades. Oh, well, like, like what Riot was doing. Yeah, like what Riot was doing. So you think that's something that everybody except for Venom can do? Oh, the- Venom can do it. He just doesn't. I feel like he would have done it on the motorcycle part if he could have. Yeah, he... I, I feel like okay, he would have done it. About the movie I feel like he would have done it that's in fair. the. That's what I'm talking about. We're like this the is what we're here him, for. Is I'm the not movie sure. is the movie Venom? So, um, um, so it, like in the in the in the apartment where you first see Venom, basically, yeah, he's just um, knocking them away instead of right. Well, no, he murdering. He them. definitely ate one of them. Well, yeah, he also <laughs> tries to convince A to bite off all their heads and pile their bodies up in the corner. But he definitely ate. He ate somebody along the road, and I only know that because Eddie was bitching about it afterwards. And I was like, I don't remember seeing that happen. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's because they did like this cutaway thing. Anytime he did, he the did cut, yeah, that like way it was even at the very R-rated. end. And, well, yeah, but like also, you're you're fucking making a Venom movie. Commit to it. You can do Venom, not R rated. You can. I'm just saying they did it. They, yes, they did it. But the, the, the very much lack of gore in what should a movie that should have at least some yeah. was it felt like it was missing something. That's probably one of the things I was saying. Like it feels like it's missing something. I didn't hate it. I liked the movie. It was fun. Yeah. It but, was it was, but it was good, but it was not great. Yeah. Like it wasn't the, the Venom movie to make all Venom movies, but it, it will be. <laughs> like I had, like if we got a sequel, then it's, it's going to be Venom versus Carnage. And that would probably be played a bit differently as it's going to be they, like an ongoing fight throughout the whole movie. But they can, won't be able to do Carnage without gore. They will not will be able talk, to do Carnage, Carnage I will touch, well I will without touch Carnage. On that later. I will touch on that later. Okay. Back to what I was saying. Yeah. Sorry. You're Venom, or uh, not your Venom. I'm Howler, apparently. You're Howler. We'll go with that. You're Howler. Whatever. Does and that mean I make people white, Howler? This little Howl? white Kodama thing comes prancing up, and it touches you. I don't want it to touch me. I feel dirty. It devours you, but strengthens your symbiote, making it its own solid creature. Instead so, of the, so, so the symbiote doomed. becomes the host. Yeah. And it becomes a symbiote. Yeah. From from being a solid a host, like, not yeah. host, but It goes creature. from kind of a liquidy type of thing. Like Kodamas aren't are. liquidy. No, like the symbiotes are. Mm. The poison versions of them are more rigid and jagged, uh, bone-like, or... So a little bit like like an exaggeration of the way Riot was, because Riot was yeah, kind of it's jagged. it's kind of a, an exaggeration of what we saw like, Riot as. Riot was kind of like a... Let let let's say a a pointy liquid, a a, a charged plasm plasma. Um, like what lightning. kind of plasma? Like lightning. Oh, not the blood plasma. No, because that's actually a liquid. <laughs> well, so that's not. He wasn't that sharp. His the spines on his back were. Well, I don't know. I'll have to ask Eddie. That's fair. <laughs> but those were also like solid metal, not. The liquid part that I was talking about—that yeah. is just the suit. Yeah, I meant more right, like was like it, he's a non-Newtonian fluid. So I've been watching a lot of science YouTube lately. <laughs> like Eddie w- Venom was very, very chatty. In that yeah, movie. he was like I really very much liked the fact that they made him his own character, but I he was a bit too talkative. Like he, he was intelligent and that was good. I like that. But like, and, but he was like intelligent and kind of brutish. Yeah. Whereas like, I, the Venom from like the comic books to me is more like brutish and intelligent. I don't know how, if I could describe how that is different, but it's like he was dumbing himself down for Eddie. For Eddie. But also, it could have just been he was learning English. 
Yeah, but say, like he I was learning he was how to learning. communicate with Eddie, but he should know how to communicate with a host by this point. It could be different between hosts. I imagine they just link synapses. He said he he knows everything yeah, about Eddie and just, started talking about it. It might take a but few. My, Moments. My main issues were like the moments where he's, where it feels he like kind of Venom's trying to be intimidating. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. That, Venom doesn't need to try to be intimidating. He just exists and it happens. Like he does to the mugger at the end. Yeah, I'm exactly. Bite off your arms and then your legs and then your face. And then you will be this armless, legless, faceless thing rolling down the street. Like a turd. Like, and that's not necessarily a bad line. I just think that was a bad line coming out of Venom. Like, I could totally see a uh, certain Wesley saying something like that because honestly, it reminded me very much of To the Pain. <laughs> okay. Like, he had just watched Princess Bride that day. That's. And he was like, I'm going to vent my own way of saying this. And uh, we got this <laughs> in my own Venom fashion. I will turn you. Entrails into your extrails. <laughs> uh, I'll gouge out your eyes, and uh, oh, I can't remember the whole to the pain thing. But he's like, your ears. I will leave those so you can hear every scream of a child that gazes upon you, every howl of a woman that looks upon your destroyed visage. Something, something along those lines. Very. Uh... Very, very menacing. There. Wesley, dude, for somebody who couldn't move at that moment, that was very, very. That is what we call a natural 20. Dude, everything about that guy was natural 20. <laughs> but he ran up on people who wanted to kill him and was like, I think you're going to help me. Like, <laughs> like, that's like what happened. Like, <laughs> Rodents of unusual size? I don't believe they exist. That was a failed insight check. <laughs> anyway, anyway, back to the venom. Yeah. Uh, um. So we're, we're diving into the writing now. Then. Well, I mean, the story itself was kind of weak. Is he, where I was going to go next. Yeah, kinda. Kinda nothing. Like he went. He. He basically flipped sides because Eddie loved somebody. That's the only indication of why he would have, like, he's like, what is this feeling? What is this? I don't know. What is that? Like, the fuck is this? The fuck is that? That's what I'm saying. It's, why am I warm and fuzzy? Eddie, what have you done to me? <laughs> Eddie, you're making me feel wrong on the inside. And I am the inside. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we need to find something to eat before I eat your liver. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Easy. Okay. This is dead. 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 <laughs> I like that because it clearly painted the picture of Venom doesn't eat dead things. Yeah, he was like, which no. immediately also, by the way, made me think of Paul. That's fair. It's the a, chicken. It wasn't a chicken. It was a bird on the side of the road. That was a chicken. No, it wasn't a chicken. It was just a bird that flew into the uh the, the van. Oh god. And he he revitalized it and like that's amazing. And he eats it and Oh like, yeah, it was a fucking pigeon. Yeah. And they're that's like, right. what the fuck? And he goes, well, I wasn't gonna eat a, a dead, dead bird. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. What's wrong uh, with you? Yeah, no, like that it that this is death like for some reason that's what I popped really into my head. I like that one. I don't know why. I just that was, Dude, that whole scene, like, that was, a, I was impressed with, uh, Hardy. Yes, thank you. I completely spaced on his name. After seeing, you know, Bane, which became the internet sensation of a meme that <laughs> more than I think anything else yeah. to date, it's still a thing. <laughs> like, yeah, it's, it's still a um, thing. And then also Mad Max, which I absolutely loved. Yeah. Like, I, I, he did a great job in it. Dude fucking said like maybe one word in the whole fucking movie. <laughs> my, one of my favorite parts is you don't even see him do the shit. <laughs> They're like, we're still being followed. And he's like, and walks off and then comes back later with the gas that they needed. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's, I'm like, holy shit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> 
um so seeing him in this this much more talkative Eddie um character, I think I thought he did a really good job. Yeah. Also, I, my favorite part was he didn't have perfect teeth. I it was one thing I noticed. Like every all the other characters did, but like the Eddie Brock that they portrayed had messed up teeth. Yeah. The thing I liked about Eddie was I don't know if those are actually his teeth, and I'm sorry, Tom Hardy, if those are your actual teeth. Hardy <laughs> played a really good broken Eddie. Yeah, he didn't seem to fit quite right and before that happened. Like it didn't quite feel right until everything fell apart. But then then he went from talking like a person to this this horse bag of grass. And that was like yeah. I, like his accent, he did a pretty good New York accent um which it was purposely out of place in San Francisco. Yeah. Um I thought he did pretty well, but it seriously felt like he was breathing through his he was talking through his neck and not like his mouth. You know what I mean? Yeah. For a lot of it. And for somebody with my hearing issues, that kind of became a problem with being able to understand what was going on. Yeah. Like half of what Venom said, I couldn't make <clears throat> out because it was just too gruff and low. All I really heard was type of. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, <clears throat> like the fact that yeah. he literally lost everything overnight, practically. Yeah. Like that's another thing that bugged me. People with. Power can do that. They can literally just... Well, yeah, because where he got the information from was obvious, and he should have known it would have been obvious. Yeah. But, so, like, I see that. What bothered me wasn't that he lost everything overnight. That's fine. Like, I get that. People can do that overnight if they have that kind of power, and this guy did. Yeah. His fucking boss, Eddie's boss, told him that before he went in there. Yeah. <laughs> um, it was... Don't be you. Why was, were you you? It was the fact that his... Fiance, because he was the catalyst for her losing her job that same day, broke up with him. Didn't even like process it first. Just immediately was like, we're done because you're Eddie Brock and you did an Eddie Brock thing to do. And I knew you'd do something Eddie Brock like. And I still said yes to marrying you. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Uh, there, I think, I think from that. Espe- that point, it was the. I knew you would do crazy shit, but I never expected you to go this far. I mean, that's fair. Like, there's definitely a certain sense of betrayal because he he went onto her laptop, looked at confidential and and, files. and that's the only that's the easiest thing to assume that he did to get this information. Yeah. Um. However, one. From 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 her perspective, she doesn't know that's what he did. No, but that would be the most logical two, jump. Yes, no, I'm I'm not saying that that's not wrong. But two, she didn't like. There was no. There was just the fact that there was just no talking about it was my issue there. There was just this relationship's over now. There was no what happened. There was no why did you do this. There was no you know what I mean. Like, let me let me try to see things from your perspective. Maybe she didn't want to give him another chance like that because that's the way they talk about it earlier in the film. You know, she refers to the New York incident when he got ran out of New York from the Daily Globe. So are you saying they were together then? I, yes. I thought, okay, so my interpretation was that she just knew about it. No, it it seemed like you know she had moved out to San Francisco. For work, Eddie was still in New York, did something, and had to leave New York. So he went ahead and came out to San Francisco. It just it just seemed her. like to me that um that she just knew about that and that. I mean, they still acted like they were pretty early in a relationship, in a sense, even though they were engaged. It still seemed like I'd say first year, but then they were also living together. I don't know. I don't understand relationships that much, so. I guess my opinion is kind of moot. different anyway. <laughs> well, I I can't say like it's moot, but it's just different. Excuse me. That's fair. And the fact and also the fact that 6 months later she was dating another guy. Yeah, I was and but supposedly she still loves him too. That's the part that really gets me. She was that quick to drop him. 
and date another guy, but she still loves him. So she was that quick to drop him from my perspective was because he crossed the line. She didn't think he would ever cross. I feel like she should have known better than to think that he's I, an investigative reporter. Who's very passionate about his job. I, I'm just look saying, at, look at, she, look at a certain webbed Parker <laughs> who also got dumped because his other job was more important. Well, you don't save people for a living and not consider it more important. I'm just saying. You don't literally save multiple people a day <laughs> you don't and it not be considered even by the significant other you're with to not necessarily be more important than the relationship, but be more important than what's happening right now. Yeah. I, because right now can be made up later. With, I th- but like I said, I think it... I think that was a line she never expected Eddie to cross, and he did. And the initial knee-jerk reaction was, no, fuck you, get out. So she immediately turns around and tries to get with someone else to forget to, Eddie. Okay. Like, and then But she was living work. with him. That's the thing. It wasn't just she was dating somebody new. She was living with somebody new. She probably had to move in because she couldn't afford the house, the apartment. I don't think he that was, was a doctor. I don't think that was their apartment that they were in. It was the same apartment that her and Eddie were in. Is it? Was it? Yes. All right. I have to take your word for it because the only thing we saw in it before they broke up was the bedroom and the cat and the cat. Well, yeah, but the cat's not part of the apartment. I'm just saying the cat's also important. The cat was clearly hers. Yeah. I'd say he misses you, but he never liked you. But, yeah. yeah, so, I mean, I can see it from that perspective, you know, of why she flipped so quickly. I mean, like, I kind of can, too. It's just the fact that there was never communication opened up about it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I Like, at the same time, I completely understand it. I've, I've definitely just pushed shit away before. Mm-hmm. And I probably will again in the future. Probably. But... It just seems weird to me that if if you were on that level, that there was just never a... We should have probably talked about this moment. Yeah. They never, like, there was kind of, like, they, they felt like they got close to that moment a couple times, but I don't know. I don't know. She also felt a little bit too much like just Eddie's MJ, so... It's pretty much what she was in the comics until she just stopped appearing. I did like the very short she venom. That was weird. I liked it because it, it happens in the comics. So I, it was a little Easter egg. I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> I just I liked I liked Eddie's face from utter, well, I'm about to die too. Oh, oh you about you to have die. No idea what's about to happen to you. <laughs> the consequences are bigger than you. <laughs> yeah. It had to be. It ate him. <laughs> and it has Oh. 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 <laughs> that was that was the trail of Eddie's face. <laughs> well, I mean, she did just eat a man right in front of him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the whole the whole man all in one go. No, she just bit his head off. The body fell. Oh, did it? Yeah. And they showed that? There was just no blood. I don't happen to recall this, but whatevs. I, I'm in a state of disbelief. That's fair. Because they didn't show any fucking gore anyway. But a lot of the... A lot of the story beats were very... I was expecting more and let's say better combat for the story too. I'm not saying it was bad. Uh, Venom in the Mist was pretty good uh, against the, the riot crew. Yeah. Uh, I said, I'm sorry. I should have said Catch. that. Against Crush. the police riot. Yeah. That was, <laughs> that was the most intimidating thing to happen in the whole movie. Was <laughs> we're gonna shoot a smoke grenade at him, plunk, and then he caught it and then just crushed it. Like this isn't gonna fucking help you. <laughs> this just helped me. Yeah, and it did. It definitely <laughs> did. Switch to thermal <laughs> throw. I half expected him not to be able to see him. Yeah, so did I. I was a little. Well, I mean, it makes sense. Like 
there's the whole Eddie Worth of body heat in there. Venom probably he's exerting a uh, force, which means he's giving off energy, which means he's probably, probably creating creating heat. heat. Yeah, May, not necessarily enough to be seen, but his his life existence is is pretty much movement. So yeah, it doesn't disagree with me. Um, the final fight. Did Eddie die? And also, I don't think it should have been that easy for Venom. Because Riot Eddie just assumed that fight was over. Should Eddie have died is probably a better question. Not did, but should. I think he did is a good question. I think, I think he might have died before Venom got to him. I think he was he, Or at right least on there. the edge. He yeah. was right there, I think. But I mean, that's something that's happened in the comics recently. Venom gets off, stabbed through the chest. Well, Eddie gets stabbed through the chest because the symbiote's not on him because it's freaking out. And then it crawls back over and plugs the hole and keeps telling Eddie, you can't die. Stay with me. Is that Venom or a different symbiote? It's Venom. Okay. Venom in the that's comics. The, that's the more emotional new Venom, yeah. right? He's like, a lot more... Human. He's grown. He's grown a lot since yeah. when he got to Earth. He's also he spent a lot of time. He bounced from Parker to Eddie, from Eddie to okay. Scorpion, from Scorpion to Flash, and from Flash back to Eddie. Oh, there's another guy between those two. I don't remember his name. Some obligatory joke about ex girlfriends or something. I don't know. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, so you don't think he died, but you think he should have? Yes. I'm sorry. That was through him. It was, it was through him. It was more lower chest. It no, it heart. was, it was no, no, here. No, 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 it was not, it was not heart. It was not heart. It was lower than his heart. <laughs> it was in, it was like roughly the middle of his torso, which is here. Mm, I mean, it, don't get me wrong. It was like six to 12 inches wide, <laughs> but I don't I just, think it. I don't think it hit anything that would cause immediate death. I, I don't know. I, I just mm, it, it, he laid there for a while. There was also no blood flowing out, probably because it was the blade was sealing the hole. But uh-huh. it just. Well, but should Wright have assumed that that fight was over? He knew Venom was around somewhere. No. You get what I'm saying? Like that was a stupid move on yeah. team leaders. Yeah, fucking that was, move. That was arrogance, probably from the human. Bleeding onto Riot. Well, that was his demise. Oh, and speaking of <laughs> Venom using the line that arrogant human used on Eddie before Eddie lost everything. Yeah. Felt wrong in a way. It was wrong, but at the same time, Venom had previously stated, you know. Yeah, I don't know. He's like that level of connected to Eddie. So he, he may have, Eddie probably found humor in it. Oh, yeah. No, I feel like that was Eddie saying it in Venom's voice. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> because it's the only thing that made sense. Oh, Venom. Um, and then, like, how did Venom really survive that at the end? Uh, I don't have an answer. I don't. Unless he just left a little bit of himself in Eddie and just took his time to heal. We don't know how long that very last scene is. Yeah. The, not the very last scene, but the go the ex- the talking to what the ex. Fuck ever else scene. Talking to Annie. Yeah, sure. Is that her name? Yes. Oh, cool. Annie A- Whalen. Annie and Eddie. Yes. Really? Yes. Vowel. Double consonant. <laughs> vowel. I e. Just, just go with it. Oh okay, well. Just, just go with it. This is comic book writing, David. <laughs> Woody. <laughs> motherfucking. Harrison. Harrelson. It's Harrelson, isn't it? Tim- As. Continue talking because now I have to look this up. As to make Curtis, sure I know. fucking Cassidy, surprisingly good. Yeah, I was a little scared. I was, I was a little, like, Ugh. I was oh, what? No, I was unsettled just by him okay having hair. This. That's fair. <laughs> I'm not I'm okay saying with the man this. Looks good without hair. I am not okay with this, but I think he can. I think he can do it. I really think he could do it, but. And you're probably yeah. going to disagree with me for this. For it to work, for the sequel to work, 
they have to do some variant of maximum carnage, which will require Spider Man. Because Carnage is too strong do you think for Marvel, just Do you Venom. think Marvel will, will bring it into the fold if it does well? Do you think that's what do you think that's what they're hoping for? I think I think so. But at the same time, there's A, a question of when it takes place. B, it takes place in San Francisco. Well, luckily, it takes place over the course of months. Well, I mean, basically six months. And that's saying that with there being a six months gap between the beginning and the end. Yeah. So like it, all, all together, it's weeks worth. It's like a week worth of time that the movie actually takes place. And it's just separated in the middle. Yeah, it's just it's. When in the timeline of Marvel's layout would have taken place is where I don't I know. Is it but a I really snap? Just a little sidebar here. I really wish we'd seen the Chihuahua in full on Venom suit. That would have been hilarious. Oh, that would have been hilarious. That would have been the best. But I mean, like, like a little Venom demon it, dog thing. Is it post? Would have been like the size of a. Of a, um, like a pit or something. Like Probably. Just all venom. Just, how did is he it, fit inside the little thing? His goopy is it, form is bigger than that. Is it post snap? Is it pre snap? If they, I mean, I don't, in, I don't, I really don't feel like just going down this well. I just want to talk about um, Woody Harrelson as Carnage. I think was a nice twist. Like I've, yeah. I've. I've previously said who I think would be a good fit for, and I still think he'd be a good fit. Um, yeah. Woody Harrelson's a big dude, like stature wise. Stature wise, he's, he's he's going to be taller than Tom Hardy. Yeah, <laughs> and I don't. I think Eddie and Cassidy were about the same size. I think Cassidy was just leaner. Yeah, Cassidy's my frame. Yeah, well, Woody Harrelson isn't. No, no, he's not. But at the same time, <laughs> in the Half a minute we had with him, he did crazy good. Yeah, <laughs> he I was mean, scratching. Let it out. He was scratching. Welcome, Eddie, in blood on the side of his completely open cell in the very, like yeah. um, the metal section that he could. It what what creeped me out is the way he, the way he said it made me feel he already has carnage. Oh yeah. So my my feeling is is um. I mean, he might be the right kind of crazy to know what's coming. Maybe. I mean... Either that or he just lives his life one piece of carnage to the next and it just happens to unfold this way because carnage is one of his favorite words. And then that happens. Yeah, maybe. I just... I don't know. He do you think... Ooh. Ooh. Do you think carnage will be a piece of venom or a piece of riot? He did absorb the blade. Not well. That's not where I was going with that necessarily. Just that some piece of riot may have survived. I, I think it. I think they will probably make it a piece of riot because of the way riot moved. I think they will derive yeah. carnage from riot versus deriving it from venom. But only time will tell. Hopefully. From what one of my coworkers was saying, it's m- making money. That's surprising because we went on an opening night and it was unfortunately empty in there. Yeah. But maybe this just isn't the area yeah, where I mean, it's making the money. Pe- look, I'm telling you, people w- want villain movies. And I think the last Avengers movie made some people realize that because that was a that was a villain movie that wasn't there's an avengers movie that was a villain movie that featured the avengers there are rumors for a dark avengers movie floating around but uh, we don't whatever. have enough we don't have enough villains for that right now <laughs> what's the next movie we're doing uh into the spider verse well, well, gotta stay on brand, I guess. And then we jump to DC, and I think you're missing somebody. I was next saying, month, and <laughs> what's next month? Because it's Spider Verse, and then it's the Man with Fish, and then 
it's a Volkswagen bug. You're com- you're you're completely leaving something out what that I was ha- I was excited to bring in to what we do for movies because okay. it's not a fucking Marvel or DC thing. What am I missing then? What what did I forget? Oh, you're right. I did. Fair I'm try- enough. I'm trying to remember the name of the movie. I can't remember the name. Of the movie. Uh, Crimes of Grindelwald. Uh, yes. But I can't. Uh, Fantastic Beasts and Crimes of Grindelwald. Yeah. That's the part I couldn't remember. It. I kept oh. thinking Harry Potter and I was like, that's not it. <laughs> I knew where you were going with it at least. Well, yeah. I, yeah, I forgot Eventually. about that one. My yeah, bad. You did. You totally forgot about that one. I believe that's next month, but I think Spider Verse is first. No, it's that then Spider Verse because Spider Verse is December. So our next movie is what, David? Uh, Fantastic Beasts. Crimes of Grindelwald. There you go. Thank you. Can't, you. you can't say the whole thing? I was trying to. I, look, I'm doing most of the talking this season. All right, guys. Um, let us know how you feel about this new <laughs> format, and um, we'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Well, I suppose that's the end of the episode. Please like, comment, follow, and share. And also, more importantly, thank you for listening. Take care. Bye.